Hey, it's a Jinjo. <laughs> Actually, it's that gargoyle from the start. Yeah. I guess he's drowned and dead right now. Yeah, I guess we murdered him too. Well, we can say that about a lot. There's just not evidence for them. For a lot of them. Yeah. Hey, it's Beer Beardy! Yeah, just out here again. <laughs> Interesting. In this, like, very low technical graphical quality, mm -hmm. like, just him drinking that beer and the way it, like, splatters out in little pixelated dots, how yeah. did that? It's somehow more disgusting than anything I've seen recently <laughs> in modern games. Like, yeah. reaching into the pig's ass and pulling out whatever's in there in Bloodborne. <laughs> Not nearly as gross as Beardy drinking that beer. Ugh. Whoa. Oh, no. Ah, he's oh. here, too. Oh, this is the this same guy. This is where we just came from. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a little All we did was here. unlock a shortcut. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Yes. We unlocked the shortcut. We did. This game is just like Dark Souls. Yes. Wait. That's going back. Yeah, this is where we went into. Huh? So this is the, the cave that we tried to reach. Okay. With the barrel. Oh, is it? Yeah, that we couldn't... Oh, okay. To. I already got Is there locked. something... I don't, and I don't think there's anything No, no. You, you need to go back to um, where the bees are. Oh, yeah, because there's that place that we can go to right, right now, maybe. It's just inexplicably though, open. Yeah, though there's no indication. Yep, yep, yep. But all good platformers do that. You know, you're right. <laughs> What's your favorite non-good platformer on the N64? Like, not a great one. Like, subtract the banjos and oh, Gex the Marios. Two. Gex 2? Yeah. I think I played that on N64. Does that one have a cartoon level with, like, Albert Fudd? Uh, I don't know, but it has a Godzilla level. Okay. Um, although I say that, it might be Glover, actually. Hmm. Glover's weird. Yeah. I have very... I, I sort of want to replay it. Wait, is that the, where you got the flying thing? But no! Oh, no. Ugh. Yeah, um, I didn't take any fall damage. <laughs> uh... Another reason you should play Psychonauts, there's a Godzilla-themed level. Yeah, I you started to... Psychonauts once, and I just couldn't get into it. Mm, maybe it could be the incentive for finishing it. Yeah, It's on Steam in, like, an HD version. I think I have it. But yeah, there's a level where you become super big, and you're, like, destroying a village of fish people. Mm -hmm. And you're, like, Godzilla-sized. Oh, no, don't do that. We saw how that turned out in the <laughs> old Hunters. <laughs> oh, right, I was going to message you. Uh, this I had just the thought because I want to play Bloodborne. Uh huh. And I was like, we should just do with Bloodborne what we did with uh, Banjo Kazooie. Switch off. Oh, no, switch off and yeah. just like play through it in an afternoon. Because like Can we, we both. That? It's 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 kind of long. Yeah, it's kind of long, but it's not actually that long. What, like I, I can get through to Rom in one sitting pretty what, easily. What weapon you want to build towards? I, I don't know. I'm most comfortable with the Sock Cleaver, but... Sock Cleaver's fine. Um, hunt, have you ever done a Hunter's Axe playthrough? I haven't. Holy shit. That thing is crazy. Yeah. It's got this badass, like, charge attack. The Sorry double, if, if, like, if, if people listening... Yeah, yeah, and it is so powerful. Oh, hey, we're at where? We're at where, where? The Feral War. I was hoping he was just going to leave it at that. We were going to fight him a little bit. Steve Rogers. <laughs> Remember the part where he held up the garbage can? Because <laughs> it, it's like a shield, and he yeah. would have a shield later. Right? Yeah, that's right. that's called foreshadowing. Yeah, and all good stories use it. Right. Where did fucking okay. take a left? I gotta get the tail. Yeah. Nice. Captain America wasn't very good. The first one? Yeah. No. 
I think you had mixed feelings on Winter Soldier, right? Uh, I, I liked it. Just on, like Scarlett Johansson. I didn't have. I don't remember having much in the way of issues with either of those. Okay. Uh, I was fine with the uh, Winter Soldier. I yeah, it was pretty decent. I think she works best with Cap. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really enjoy Winter Soldier. Yeah, I like Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, it's got that fun elevator scene too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good scene. Yeah. And then, what they, they do with it in Endgame? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Endgame is like probably not great, but so enjoyable if you watched a bunch of those. Yeah. I didn't like what they did with Thor, though. It's kind of one note. I didn't mind it. Uh, I just... Uh, well, I did and I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind the... I didn't find what they it did. so hilarious. Like, like they seemed to think it was. Yeah, well, I didn't like that the joke... This movie for was... children didn't make me laugh! <laughs> I didn't like that the joke was like, oh, he's, you know, he has survivor's guilt, and he's traumatized, so he drank a lot. Isn't that funny? Look at him, he's fat now. Because he feels bad. And that was just the whole joke yeah. a bunch of times. And it's like, I mean, you could have done something interesting with that. Like, they sort of tried to do that in Iron Man 3 with... Uh, Tony. Tony having this, like, uh... I said, I was going to say PTSD. STD. But he, <laughs> he probably, probably, has, yeah, STD. probably has that too. <laughs> but, I don't know. I like a lot of what happened. I like that uh, Endgame was a movie that e was like unabashedly, like, if you didn't see the other ones, this is not for you. Yeah. How do you even write these sayings? Him into a table leg. Like. Yeah. But he's not a red squirrel. That's true. He would clash more with the table. Would. Hmm. Mm. Right? Hey, it's a classic platform level. It's like we're in Rusty Bucket Bay. This game, I I will say, the more platformers I play, the more I like Rusty Bucket Bay. Uh huh. Because it's just like, oh yeah, this game is this game's most annoying. If this were Banjo Kazooie, that would have led me somewhere. <laughs> or like any game. Yeah. I mean, uh, if this was Dark Souls, I remember. I know it's not surprising, but I remember. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> those lamps don't like you. Yeah. I remember fucking nothing about this chapter. I don't remember anything about the content, I just remember that there's a war chapter. Well, here's the thing. I think you have to roll a bomb there or something. Let's go in the water. Is it poisonous? Uh, not really. Oh, this electric eels. You've done a great job avoiding that electricity just by lightly slump swimming away. That's how I avoid most things. Yeah. See, those things were jumping and there was like such an obvious path around it that it's probably for pushing some explosive or something. I don't yeah, know. Oh, that's the boat for later, huh? Yeah. Alright. Um, maybe I gotta go this way first. Could be. Whoa! Oh my. That is not what I was expecting to mm -hmm. happen. They're maybe, spider mines. Maybe I need... Hey, I played that game. <laughs> maybe I need one of those to follow me. Christ. I doubt it's that. Yeah. They don't seem too keen on moving anywhere. I think you just have to avoid them. And get through this deadly dangerous area. 
Deadly dangerous area. Oh! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, they take two chocolates from you when they bloom. I think you already lost one. But I thought I got it back just now. Uh, I think you already down one. No, yeah, but I thought I got it back just now. Mm. No, nope, that's not the way either. Cool. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I was just gonna like. You I yeah, framed it. it. It does deal too. Does it? Alright. Chocolate. Oh, oh thank god. Cutscene saved What? Good God. This game. Okay. Some things. Look around, I guess? In the water? Oh. Do you have to swim? I don't know how to go underwater. Uh, B or Z, probably. Ah, uh, okay. I gotta get him to follow me through these. Yeah, through the ramps, probably. Yeah. He, this guy's like Snacker, except he more annoyed. Hmm. I guess the the challenge is that you're in this very restrictive uh, camera angle. Okay, that's one. Just gotta keep an eye on your air. Probably want to come back for more right about now. I thought I'd, I thought I'd drown. <laughs> ah, watch out! Oh, you dick! <laughs> it's like you have no depth perception. Because for some reason this is just in this way. Oh, that's two? Perfect. That was exactly how I wanted that to go. Make sure you're hitting that bottom. Oh, this looks good. Nice. Is that, yeah. a, is that a long? I thought there was another one. And that kills it. Hmm. For some reason. Hmm. Hey, we lit up Dead Man's Wharf. Well, of course that was going to happen. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see the connection now. Every bit of progress is closer to the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the game's had its moments. <sighs> or... I had my last video call class today. Oh, yeah? I'm so glad those are over. Yeah, you're going back. I gotta, I gotta start going back to the office two days a week next week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm not excited. Oh, what? I gotta shoot out the lights. Is that it? No, probably not. What about the cannons? Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe I shoot out the boat. Maybe. No. Okay. Um, Maybe it was a short shot. Aim higher. They look explosive. They do. All right. That's about as high as it'll go. No, oh, it bounced off. That wasn't right. it? <laughs> All right. Maybe. Uh, look at those cranes. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Um, okay. Where's that dude? Okay, so I lit up the wharf for why? Maybe maybe we're not supposed to use this yet. Maybe maybe there's something else to do. Mm -hmm. Something else that got power. They just happened to highlight this section. Yeah. Wait, there's TNT up here. Oh. Huh. Hence the big sign for TNT. I kind of forgot about it. What with the guy talking to you? Constantly and yeah. telling you to do stuff. Fuck that shit. Ah. Well, we're not a men's. We're a squirrel. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course. Oh, so we gotta get him moved over there. And then we gotta yeah. shoot that thing at it. I think the safer way is the smashy part. Yep, I agree. Oh yeah, I bet you shoot him once he's close. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know what this game reminds me of? Yeah. Do you remember, like, the, like... I guess it was, like, mid-late 90s, like, point-and-click adventure games on PC. Mid... Late 90s? Yeah. Like 95? Yeah. Like, is that like Mist era? Uh huh. I remember my brother playing Mist. So it was like, there's like Mist, and then there was like, um, I remember the space one. Well, okay. Hmm. That was like. I always really wanted to play Mist. Remember, I, I got the games. I, I, I watched my brother play it so much, and I wanted to play them. And I got the games on uh, CD-ROM in a crash. Oh, are you serious? And it didn't work with my version of Windows. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. Do you push him? Oh, that's actually preferable than him following me like that fucking dinosaur. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Maybe this is the good part of the game. No, it's not. I promise. <laughs> um... Oh, this is a lot less tedious than that dinosaur. That's true. Oh. Alright, first problem. How do we keep him from dying? Is there another one of him in the toilet? Yeah, there is, but there's a little block down there. Oh, okay. It's like uh, Pokemon Gems with the ice theme. Every single fucking one of them. Have the same ice puzzle. <laughs> Don't forget some of the caves. I saw uh, a pic someone made a picture of like their grocery store, and they had all these like left, right, you know, how to line up to be to do social distancing, mm -hmm. line up, and there's all these little arrows on the floor, all different directions. Mm -hmm. And like, I think this is a team rocket base. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Z, uh, L shoulder, R start. Oh, it's a new oh, it's scene. A new you have to see it. Weird. Hey, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Hey, it's Mr. Poopy Butthole. I always could count on you. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. This little poopy pants is hungry. Can't sing the whole song. That is. You'll get. I'll get copyright strike. Copyright strike. Yeah. Okay. So. I think what you gotta watch out because he like. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no. No. This is this is a F five situation. This is. Why does every task in this game have to be like it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't even go to a cutscene. But once it's over, once it's over, Sid, yeah. you'll be able to say, I beat Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have always wanted to play it. And, you know. There you go. I'm gonna go this way. Really? I don't think it's necessarily better, but mm. I can... I guess you do have a choice. Can I do that for everyone? Yeah. Maybe you should just avoid them like you did. Like, they do like, just, just move in an S shape. Because that one's going to be back by the time you get here. I guarantee it. That's right. And then hang a left? Wait, no? Okay. Um, let's get ready to go either way. Thanks. You're welcome. That's what makes me a pro gamer. Just get ready to avoid things. Yes. You might have to go any direction. Right. Be ready for that. Correct. Also, when you let go of him, he steps forward a little bit. So don't take him right to the edge. Oh, God. I think this is... Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, man. We were so close. I think. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know. At least the other one can't suddenly fail once you get in the groove of it. I recommend the other side. I know you do. You've said it several times. Have I? Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to see which side Sid goes with. Next time! Uh. <laughs>